Hey everyone, Scott here from sandspotter.com again, and uh, welcome to quarantine content. So as you probably know, I am out of airline review footage for a while. I don't know how long that's gonna be, but that's okay because there's actually quite a lot of videos that I wanna shoot from home. I've got some ideas, and the first one being a Q&A video. Now, to be completely honest, I was planning on doing this at my 10,000 subscriber mark, but things got really busy and I never got around to doing it, but you guys have been asking for it and I thought this is a perfect opportunity just to sit here, go through a ton of questions, because yesterday on social media, I reached out to you guys and I asked you what questions you want me to answer. And I was flooded with responses. So thank you for that. It was a lot more than I was expecting. And yeah, this video is gonna be long. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three videos total. So there's gonna be this video here on YouTube. And then part two, I'm gonna put on my Facebook page, on the uh, Sandspotter Facebook page. If you're not following me there, make sure you're doing that so you can see that content. And then finally, I'm going to save part three of this video for my patrons. Yep, so one of the things that I give my patrons is exclusive video, and I thought that this would be a good opportunity to give them just a little bit more bonus content beyond what I'm gonna be doing here on YouTube and Facebook. So let's just get into it. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be rapid fire, so so hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, so the first question I got was actually five questions. I'm gonna give Sheena priority here. She was my only family member who replied for my quest for questions. So I'm gonna give her priority on this and I'm just gonna burn right through them. So Sheen's 1701, here you go. What is your favorite airport? Come on, San Diego. <laughs> what is your favorite place that you've ever visited? I kind of like Iceland. Hong Kong is still my favorite. Where's the first place you can travel when you can? Uh, it's probably gonna be domestic. I don't think international borders are gonna be opened up anytime soon, so it's gonna be all domestic. What's your favorite type of cheese? Ooh, good question. Mild cheddar. Which aviation brand has the best clubs? Ah, good question. I'm gonna go with Cathay Pacific. The Cathay Pacific clubs in Hong Kong are just awesome. What's the most luxurious flight experience you've had? Uh, I'd go with Qatar Airways A380 business class from Paris to Qatar. Charles Pittman 3 asks, what is the name of your adorable kitty cat? Okay, so this here is Frances. She is seven years old. She's a purebred Singapura, and she doesn't like to be held for very long, so um, I'm gonna put her down before she gets antsy. Okay, moving right along. Simon, I'm, s I'm really sorry if I can't get these names right. <laughs> I do apologize. Simon Fiolade, Fiolade, you know who you are. Thank you for submitting a question. First long haul flight when the COVID-19 situation is over. Like I said, it's gonna be something domestic. I don't know yet, but it's not gonna be far from home. British Columbia Aviation. Hey man, how's it going? Favorite airline you've reviewed or an airline that you want to review? I think I had the most fun with doing Starlux recently. That was just a great flight. And in terms of what I wanna do, good question. I think I'm looking forward to doing ANA the most. I've flown ANA in the past, but I haven't done a proper review. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. SD Spotter, Josh, hey man. Why are you such an amazing blogger in person? I, not really a question I can answer, but I just wanna say thanks for your support. You were one of my OG subscribers, so I just, I appreciate you hanging on for so long and I appreciate that. I trip report. Now, I was expecting something a little bit more sarcastic from, from you, but if you can live anywhere other than San Diego, duh, where would it be and why? Maybe, I think it'd be cool to live in a ranch somewhere in Colorado. I don't know, just I love wide open spaces. I've been living in a city for so long that it'd be kind of nice to live out in the country, I think. AP Traveler, Andre, what's the most exciting part of traveling for you? I think it's just the act of moving, just going places, just being active and just constantly being on the move. Kind of hard to explain, but I actually like it more than the destination sometimes. Rick Spotter, what got you into graphic design and why did you stop? I've always been drawing ever since I was a kid and I stopped, actually I'm still doing it, I'm just doing it all for myself now and my brands, but uh, I stopped in 2018 when I left to do Sand Spotter full time. Uh, Nader, Nader Botham, Nader Rue Botham, what's your first trip as, okay, that's just another question, where am I going when this is all over? Somewhere domestic and from him again, what's your favorite airline to travel on internationally? It depends on where I'm going. Right now I'm really liking the Asian carriers uh, that JAL experience I had a couple months ago. That was really good. Shano, Shano Sullivan, why did you choose to stop wearing the Red Tiger running shoes and will they return? Actually, I just wore them out. I wore them for so long and instead of buying the same pair again, I decided to go with something completely new. Matla, 
I think that's how you pronounce that. What inspired your love for aviation? Uh, good question. I think, you know, I've always had it in me. I remember being a kid, eight years old, drawing airplanes, always looking up in the sky, looking at airplanes flying overhead. It's just, it's always been there, I can't explain. Check in aviation. Where or how did you develop your filming techniques? Just by trial and error. If you go back to my YouTube channel and you check out my first videos, you'll see where I evolved from. And you know, I'm still not perfect. I got a long way to go, but it's just doing it over and over and over again. Forest Rider 15, was Air Asia's chicken and rice phenomenal? Yes. Again, Forest Rider 15, what is your favorite airport? San Diego. And from him again, what was your previous job? I was a visual designer for a very large company, mostly doing mobile app design. Oh, one more question from him. What got you into doing aviation videos and reviews? I think it was Ben Schlappig, uh, one mile at a time .com. I was always reading his blog and I wanted to be a blogger and I started sandspotter.com and that eventually led to videos. So, Rossid, Rossid, Rossil Dossel? Is that how, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever come to Scotland? No. If not, do you plan to come? Yes, I do. Hopefully once this pandemic is all over, I hope to get back over there and do some more exploring up in that area. All right, Gerbo828, where are you now? San Diego, at home. Okay, here's one from Bat Sarah Rachel, or Sarah, Rachel, Rachel, we've talked on uh, Facebook. Why did you give up your career to chance it as a YouTube content provider? <sighs> That's a very good question. I'm just a full believer in doing what you love. And I just, I lost the passion for doing design work and working in a big company, working for other people. I wanted to do my own thing. And I, you know, I love aviation. So I just combined the two and here I am. KCLT Spotter, what got you into aviation? Uh, kind of answered this before, but just being a young kid, it's always been there, don't know. Okay, Randy from XU. Do you have any superstitions when flying? No, I don't actually. I'm actually not a very superstitious person. So Tim Foster, do you have another job other than flying and running your blog? This is my primary project. I am self-employed. I have some other online projects that I'm working on, but Sandspotter is definitely my, my main thing. Bevans, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce half of these. What's your favorite country to visit and why? Singapore is nice, nice and clean, very easy to organize. I like Japan for the same reason, clean and organized. There's so many, I, I could sit here and just list them all, but uh, Singapore and Japan are my top two probably. DC spotting, what is most important to you when booking a flight? Airline, price, time, etc. For me, because of what I do, uh, which is airline reviews, I'm always trying to fly different airlines, so I'm always looking for airlines that I haven't flown before. I'm even willing to pay a little bit more for that. AR7251, what is your favorite experience on a plane, Ben? I'm gonna have to go back to that Qatar Airways A380 business class experience. I mean, that was just perfect. It was a little bit too formal for my taste, but everything about it, I just, it was very, very good. Connor, T84, do you ever spend time standing in the galley on long flights? Only to get up and stretch. I'm not a very social person, so I'm not one to get up and talk to the cabin crew or other passengers, but uh, I do stand up there sometimes and just stretch and just mind my own business. Okay, Todd75, your new Nike travel shoes. What is the model version? Those are the Charge Solar Canvas Soft or something like that, but Charge Solar is the name. Melby Spotter 12, what got you into flight reviewing? Again, going back to Ben Schlappig of one mile at a time.com, I give him credit for that. Miss Stephanie Megan, pre flight ritual or habits you can't lose. The Health Witch, San Diego Airport, Camden Food Company. <laughs> Chris P125, what was your most favorite airline review? I'm gonna have to go with that uh, that Starlux review that I just did. Good question. I just That's a hard one to answer because there are none that completely stand out. Again, from Chris, what is your favorite airline? I don't really have a favorite. I just, again, it depends on where I'm going in the world, but JAL, Singapore Airlines, Qatar, Emirates. I actually liked Air Tahiti Nui, even though it wasn't a really great experience, but it was still pretty good. Blake Robert MB, how great is it living in the most perfect climate in North America. It's great. <laughs> the Jordan 23, what's your favorite type of business class seat? You know, I'm not particular. Business class, any kind is better than economy in my book. Miss McCarthy Penna, Pina, what is your favorite food? Good question. Tacos. Fly Fly Rennie, Fly Fly Rini, Fly Fly, Fly Fly. Make more Narevo templates, please. Coming soon. JTQFP Aviation. What programs do you use to edit? Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm trying to learn Final Cut Pro, but it's so different and it just, yeah. So mainly Adobe Premiere Pro. Tony Weymouth. 
How do you see your channel progressing following the COVID-19 situation? I've thought a lot about this and to be honest, I don't really have an answer for that yet. It's, it's not a good feeling because I don't know what kind of content I can create long-term here at home, but I'm going to try my best. All right, Namso92, what do did you do for a living before Sandspotter.com? I was a visual designer doing website design, mobile app design, general graphic design, that sort of thing. Duff travels the world. When this virus is gone, can you fly to Brisbane, Australia? Brisbane? Brisbane? I think I need to go and learn how to pronounce that. SoCal Aviation, the worst flight you've ever had. You know, they're all good. Pocket Infinite asks, have you gained any weight? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. I'm the kind of person, I'm skinny fat. When I gain weight, it all goes to my belly and I don't fill out anywhere else. Luckily, I'm fortunate that I, I haven't gained any weight doing all this. It's Luke McCory. How can people like us do actual plane spotting and what should we look for? I guess I'm not really sure what you mean by that question, but just in general, just get out there and do it. I mean, the, don't overthink anything. Just get out there, do what you want to do and have fun. Elliot S5 asks, if you could snap your fingers and be anywhere in the world instantly, where would you go? At this very moment, maybe somewhere on an island in the South Pacific. Here's one from I am Dion Anderson. What future route do you want to fly? San Diego to Sydney, nonstop. Qantas A380 first class. Aviation SoCal with a really good question here. New name, LAX Spotter. <laughs> I know, I need to fly from San Diego more often. Uh, he asks again, favorite airplane? I'm really liking the A350, all variants, 900, 1000, whatever. Holly, it's Dave, Holly, at S Dave. Which airline will you miss the most from the ones that have gone bankrupt recently? This hasn't happened yet at the time of recording, but Virgin Australia is not looking good at the moment, and that's an airline I want to fly, so if they don't make it... Okay, Kevin G. Kevin? Favorite airport to people watch, both international and domestic? Good question. Uh, definitely Atlanta Hartsfield for domestic, US, and maybe international. Basically, maybe it's got to be either Dubai or Qatar just simply because it's the crossroads of the world, literally. RK Taylor 628 asks, if you could fly on any aircraft, past or present, what would it be and why? Definitely the Concorde. I, I almost had my chance a long time ago. I was actually thinking about buying a seat on the one of the last Concorde flights, but I didn't. It was a little bit too expensive for me at the time, but I wish I would have done it no matter what it costs. I really regret not taking that opportunity. John the Tagger, how's quarantine? It's actually not bad. It's, it's like normal life for me, so I, I can't complain all that much. And my cat's knocking stuff up above the wall. Francis, no. Benjamin Terrell, would you like to travel to Argentina? And if you do, do you have any plans in mind? Actually, I was in Argentina last year, last summer actually, went to Buenos Aires, spent a couple days down there. Beautiful city, and I can't wait to go back. So that's it for this video, but I've got a lot more questions to answer. And I'm gonna jump over to Facebook right now and answer a bunch more. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go over to Patreon and answer the last bit over there. So if you're not following me on Facebook, I do recommend doing that. And to, to all my patrons, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I do want to give a shout out to Pilot Right. If you don't know who he is, you should. He's actually a pilot in training right now, 40 years old, roughly, and he's training to become an airline pilot, which is cool as hell. So link in the description below, check him out. And uh, I'll see you over on Facebook.